Hey guys, my name is Denning for Fun, and today I'm bringing you guys the burning cyborg camo effect inside the Dobby After Effects. This is my first ever tutorial on English. My English isn't perfect because I'm Portuguese. And another thing, this is my f this is the first ever tutorial on YouTube how to make the cyborg burning camo effect uh, inside the Dobby After Effects. So uh, before starting. Uh, I'd like to show you guys how the effect looks like, so let's take a look. Nordic made this effect in your late or in your rain edit, so yeah, let's take a look. As you can see on the cyborg camo, uh, it looks like the cyborg camo is burning these waves on the orange parts. It's very cool, so. And it's very sick. So let's start. Uh, this is my project that I made. Uh, it's the same thing. Uh, and yeah, I will teach you guys how to make the cyborg burning camo effect. So yeah, let's make a new composition. Cyborg burning camo effect. Okay, so. Uh, I'm Portuguese, so sorry for my English, but yeah, I will do my best. Okay, what you have to do is to pre-comp your clip. And uh, what you have to do is pre-comp again. Ctrl D, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. You have to duplicate your layer and uh, go on your middle of your clip. And what you have to do is go on your effects and presets tab and search by color key. Okay, so let's add color key on the duplicated layer. And what you have to do is pick with, take the orange parts with this thing uh, right here. And what you have to do is, oh, first let me adjust the composition again. So what you have to do, and now... Uh, what you have to do is, uh, no, sorry guys, oh my god, okay, let me copy this, uh, color key, no, I was wrong, you have to search by leave color, okay, so let's add leave color, and now you have to make the same thing, but uh, as I'm, I have the color, I will copy and paste, and yeah, so, uh, what you have to do is change the match, match colors to using who and the amount to the color on 100 uh, using who, sorry and the tolerance you have to adjust the... oh my god okay, you have to adjust the tolerance uh, because if you don't there is some red and orange parts so what you have to do is mess around with the tolerance for me it's 12 it's good so now what you have to do is search by color key now it's color key so let's say it's color key and what you have to do is pick the whites and solo your layer and you have to do is increase uh, you have to increase uh, the color tolerance and you keep doing the same process until uh, you have only the oranges. With leaf color, what what we did was keep only the oranges and the other parts grey or black and white. And with color key, uh, I will uh, remove all my screen without the oranges part. So let's make it. Let's add a new color key. Pick with this part right now, like that, and uh, let's. Keep doing this until we have only the oranges parts. So let me pick up the black and the scope and increase the color tolerance. And finally, let me pick take these colors, these gray, these blacks, and we have to mess around with settings. So, let me add last one. 
and uh, yeah so now you have only the oranges and what you can do you can mess around a bit with the settings and uh, with the color tolerance on each color key it's very very easy and yeah that's it so now uh, before continue uh, what I will make uh, don't worry about it where is it uh, wait uh, this one here no sorry uh, let me see oh yeah I will copy this control C and uh, uh, well wait and uh, I will paste uh, let me delete what I will make is control oh yeah control V uh, because I made this effect and uh, these these effects are be better okay so we have the oranges parts and uh, what you have to do now is end song of your mayor uh, so for you guys that don't understand what I made was I deleted all my effects and I copy and paste on my preview to make it better better so let's continue uh, what you have to do is control C and control V on your uh, let me end song on your background and uh, go on your track mat if you don't have track mat mess around mess around with these buttons uh, right here where is track mat oh hello okay track mat and what you have to do is go on your track mat of uh, your duplicated background not the oranges this part is the orange and this is the clip so go on your duplicated clip and change the track mat to alpha mat now what it does it's a mask uh, of your the colors of your background uh, are the same on uh, this thing it's easy so now what you have to do is select uh, these two layers and pre comp Okay, now you have the two layers uh, in one layer only. And what you have to do now is go on your effects and preset and, and search by turbulent displays. Okay, so let's say turbulent displays, and as you can see, the effect uh, it's there. Oh, sorry guys. And now what you have to do is amount on 50, and you can decrease a bit the, the size. Uh, let me see. Uh, two point displays uh, 50 54 okay so where is it okay 50 54 55 it's the same thing and uh, what you have to do is let me where let's trim the clip here so trim trim comp to work area and now what you have to do is go on your start of your clip keyframe the evolution you foresee the keyframes go at the hand and uh, let me see you evolution where is okay so what you have to do is increase the the evolution okay so you have the effect as you can see i will preview but before let's make one thing let's say shine so what you have to do is go on your trap code shine uh, before adding shine search by fast blur add fast blur uh, 2.5 horizontal and vertical it's good I think and uh, let me see first word okay so shine let me add shine uh, I want to copy I will make for you guys can see 
how to do it how i make it so what you have to do is go to effects and presets search by shine it's the trap code plugin and we have to do is change the mode transform mode to head search point on the middle of your gun go on your colorize okay now what you have to do is select this thing this pick whip and select your oranges color and go on the shadows and make orange a bit more orange a dark orange orange okay so now what you have to do is mess around with the boost light as you can see so uh, I what I will make it I copy fast blur and shine for my composition and yeah it's done okay uh, that's it for this tutorial let's run preview and uh, I think I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial this is my first ever tutorial on English sorry for my English and yeah and uh, another thing I'd like to tell you guys uh, there is many ways to do but it, this is my way I think it's the best way and uh, as you can see it's so sick the burning camo effect uh, you can mess around with, with the with the settings uh, another way to make it it's adding before uh, after leaf commerce adding levels and after color key but it this is my way and uh, yeah don't forget to leave a like in the comments and uh, yeah that's it I hope you guys enjoy and uh, bye.